Next, we're going to talk about chronological subdivisions. Chronological subdivisions are used to bring out a particular time period of the subject designated by the main heading. You'll see chronological subdivisions most often in fields like social sciences or the arts and humanities, especially history. Um, these are the fields where it's most useful to be able to designate particular time periods, where your users are most likely to look for books about particular time periods. Sometimes you'll see chronological subdivisions directly after the main heading, and sometimes they'll come after a topical subdivision like history, for example. Chronological subdivisions use time spans that are regularly covered in books. Um, sometimes they will be just a range of years, sometimes they'll refer to a whole century, and sometimes they'll be a range of years paired with a descriptive phrase. So let's look at some examples of headings with chronological subdivisions. In the first one, you'll see that 19th century is the chronological subdivision, so that refers to a whole century. The second one shows an example of a heading that not only has a topical subdivision before the chronological subdivision, but it also shows a chronological subdivision that has a phrase and dates that says Civil War, but then also give the dates that the Civil War lasted. And the third example is also an example of a descriptive phrase with the dates. We're talking about the early modern period of English literature. And then we're told that it's from 1500 to 1700. In MARC formatting, chronological subdivisions are designated by subfield Y. So let's look at these examples. The first one is a topical sub subject heading. So it's a 650 tag. The main heading goes in subfield A, German literature. And then the chronological subdivision of the 19th century goes in subfield Y. The second example, notice that it's a geographical heading, so the tag is 651. The main heading, United States, goes in subfield A. Then there's a subfield X for the topical subdivision of history. And then there's a subfield Y for Civil War, 1861 to 1865. And the third example is another topical heading with a 650 tag. Authors, comma, English goes in subfield A, that's the main heading. And then there's a subfield Y for the chronological subdivision, which is early modern, 1500 to 1700.